traffic to chat GPT is booming with the CEO Sam Altman bragging on X that it's now the eighth biggest website in the world, according to similar web. But the site's incredible growth comes right as real concerns swirl over whether the advancement of generative AI models is actually slowing down. Deirdre Bosa takes a closer look in today's tech check. Hi, Deirdre. Hey, Kelly. So in other words, has it peaked? And that's a conversation certainly gaining traction here in Silicon Valley these days. The idea that rapid Gen AI advancements that we've seen of recent years are showing signs of deceleration. There was VC Ben Horowitz on the latest A16Z podcast. We're increasing GPUs at the same like rate, um, but we're not getting the intelligence improvements at all out of it. Reid Hoffman made a similar point on another podcast and the information reporting that the increase in the quality of Orion, that's OpenAI's upcoming advanced model, is less than the quality jump between the last two flagship models, GPT-3 to GPT-4. So in other words, Gen AI advancements have peaked essentially because the models are running out of data to train on. Now, if that core assumption is changing, that could lead investors to question the way that they have been valuing AI companies could also drive changes in the AI hardware market, that is chips. Now, in terms of who stands to benefit, I want to point back to that similar web post. It showed that ChatGPT is now one of the largest websites in the world by traffic. In October, it put ChatGPT visits at 3.7 billion in October versus Perplexity's 91 million versus Google Gemini's 292 million. Now, even if technological advancements they are slowing down, other CEOs operating in the space, like Mark Zuckerberg, say that there's still a lot of opportunity to build consumer and enterprise applications on top of the current technology, even if it has plateaued. There's notebook LM, computer use, agents. These are all examples of new and potential use cases built on top of existing models, Kelly. So it, the only thing point I make is that this could be driving a change in how we think about how we value these AI models, right? What can you build with existing technology versus the next jump in technology? Yeah, I mean, I still also wonder about the IPOs that we may ever see. This has been such a slow year the last couple of years. You know, we had a record 2021. Um, and does any of the tinkering yeah. in this field tell us that we're going to get a busier IPO docket maybe next year? Or is it unrelated and going to ultimately accrue to the big platforms and so forth? It's a great question. I think what we were already starting to see is some of the hardware names, some of the new chip makers like Cerebrus and some of the application layers that might be easier to value, right? Because they're just building on top of the large language models. Maybe you'll see more of them. And I think when you think about the open AIs, the Anthropics, just how much investment they need to develop these models, that could be and is likely to be further off. All right, Deirdre, thank you. For now, Deirdre Bosa reporting.